Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams rank among the best passing offenses in the country. That's to be expected with these two coaches in charge. Both of them innovative offensive gurus. Not that they totally abandoned the running game, but they are on the cutting edge of the latest in the passing offense. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Welcome to the blue turf of Bronco Stadium. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game here we go folks he's to the 20 and down he goes at the 32 getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career the final games always have an extra emotional element in them we'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory the quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game and he's tackled after positive yardage. The Broncos have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. He fights forward to about the 46. Three-yard gain by the running back. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. There's a strike complete. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27. Gets out to around the 12. this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He steps up. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown.
gets the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. Oklahoma State gets the W, 17-14. All right, thanks, Reese. Boise State is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Caught open field, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 35. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. Five wide. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. Gallagher on the tackle at the 40-yard line. That brings him second and five. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws and it's incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 28-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Boise State is up seven. Ready, 180, wide, check, check. Hammerhead, hammerhead. Slings it, he's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. six-yard line. It's first down. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle right around the 40. to go. Ball on the 28. And he's tackled at the three. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. set. Touchdown Broncos! He makes the PAT. So a five-play, 73-yard drive. It's good for seven points. And a huge contribution from the aerial attack. Boy, they had some nice big pass plays on that drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He's got the corner. Brought down at the 34-yard line. 
Boise State's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Richardson makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. First down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he hits him hard at the 49. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Fires it out. Tackled for a loss. Picks him up two yards with that catch. As we change into the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 14-0, Bronco. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Price is back awaiting the punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires right side. Got his tail back. And they push him out at the 35. And 10. Ball on the 35. He's taken down at about the 45. yard line first down he zips it out to the left Rock down around the 13 yard line yard line. First down. on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese checking out the action in Cincinnati. And for Cincinnati, they win their ninth game of the season. The Bearcats take it by five. That's 
That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Boise State is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. A pickup of four on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He tackles him for a loss. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, sure tackle on the ball here. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. Halfback's got it on a quick throw, and down he goes at the 34. And for Petway, he's just notched a new school record for single season passing. He's taken apart every secondary they've faced, and now he's got this great achievement to show for it. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. tackled the 43 yard line man's been known to be such a great quarterback but when you sit down with him in person and you look at him you see that smile and he just sort of exudes that confidence that you want in a guy that's playing under center we saw that this week absolutely Brad I can remember earlier this week when he walked out of our meeting I looked over at you and we just kind of kind of nodded our heads in agreement that this kid kind of has that it factor that you look for from quarterbacks obviously he's very talented but I think he has the confidence that you're speaking of and I think he just brings the intangibles to the table. And, and so far, how can you not be impressed with everything that he's done? Well, he's had it in the first half so far. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Going right to his tailback. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. You can see right there what speed can do for an offense. That's just a short pass, and he made something big happen. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Makes it to the 21. on an early down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Slings it. Got his tight end. Touchdown. Wow. Complete dominance so far on both sides of the football. For one side, I have a feeling this game is going to feel a lot longer than 60 minutes. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 57-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So our score, 28-0. Walker fields it at the one. At the 30. And he's taken down at the 37. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. This offense needs to start playing some emotional football. Throws a bullet. The senior makes the catch. Oh, so close to breaking it. That makes it first and ten. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. The Golden Bears will use their first time out of the half. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. the 17-yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. He gets out to about the eight. That's a deep That brings up second and nine. Taken down at the three-yard line. That's a gain of five on the way. Quick throw, almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. This is the eighth play of this drive. for a touchback. The Broncos are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but i got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Complete right down, nothing doing. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. It's second down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Ready. Ray 95. Ray 95. <laughs> Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Boise State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First and ten. Ball on their own 39. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Boise State will take their final timeout.
Kicks up. And it's off the crossbar. No good. And it hits the crossbar. No good. And it's off the crossbar. No good. And it hits the crossbar. No good. So we've played two quarters. The Broncos lead 28-7. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So... You know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, great, not to give away any turnovers. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk takes the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes the catch and look out. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. First down. Mark 55. Mark 55. Let's go. Check three. Check three. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Good for a gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. Tackled at the 48-yard line. Four brings him down at the 48-yard line. First down. Mike 55, Mike 55. E, 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 E. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Three-yard loss there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. Gallagher brings him down, the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike, 55, right there in the middle, 55. Check, check, check. Ready? And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Watch two, watch two. Ready. Just throws this one away. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They come out in a five-wide set. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Here's the screen to the wideout. He's tackled at the 10-yard line. Five wide. Pass 
misses, and it's almost picked off. It's the 11th play of the drive. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Taken back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Price takes it from the six. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 35. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Patterson position to the receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Ready! And he just gets rid of it. down and they'll be looking for six points here they're crowding that line of scrimmage touchdown Broncos and he converts the extra point Four-play, 65-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Man's kept his cool after a bad first half, Kirk, and they're right in this thing. You know, even when his team was down, he just never seemed to panic. He was cool in the huddle. He got his teammates on the same page and has really just taken command of this offense. I think he's been unbelievable. And his talent, I think, is through the roof. But I think it's his mental toughness is what really puts him into a category all by himself. That'll make it second and four. He scrambled. Brought down around the 33-yard line. Teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He's 
taken down at the 41. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, he's putting up huge numbers, and I think you can go back and look at every throw that he's made. It's like a human highlight film in one football game. And let's also recognize the offensive line. This defense has been coming after this quarterback. And to the offensive line's credit, they've given him enough time to be able to read the defense and make good throws. We'll see what else he has in store for this defense as they look to tack on more points. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. They'll give it off here. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Boise State looking to build on this commanding lead here. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. some mop-up duty. Boise State's got a huge lead. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. From the 17 yard line. Second down. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Boise State up by a big margin. play and now they're in a great position to score first and goal from the four they're knocking on the door and he's taken down at the two-yard line that brings him second and goal this is the ninth play of this drive Splits the uprights with the extra point. Cook has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Caught open field. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. 
comes in second and one. Strike to his receiver, no good. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it first and ten. Strike complete. Tackle around the 49 yard line. Call it a game of 11 yards. First down. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Hey, check right, check right. Check right. Red team. Easy, easy, easy. Fuck you. Fires out to his wide out. That's a game of four. That makes, that makes it second and six. six. Just under three to go in regulation. And he hits him hard at the 37. Call it a of 10 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Come on, man. Right here, London. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. Play number nine of this current drive. down and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. Both players were very aggressive in going after that ball. This could go either way. Pass interference. Defense. The defender got his hands on the receiver in the end zone, and that's a huge break for the offense. Well, the offense is going to get some free yards out of it, but the defender probably saved the touchdown. First down. Chance for three or seven here. First and goal inside the five. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver. play 74 yard drive and they put up seven points this quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today i'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well and he just got drilled the broncos coaching staff stuck to their game plan it worked yeah, give him a lot of credit for coming up with a plan where they knew they could find ways to get him the football, even with all the recognition and defense being concerned about him. They came up with that plan, and this young man delivered. Just under two to go in the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Sanders gains about five yards on the run. That brings him second and five. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Make 
takes it out to about the 23. Golden Panthers pull it out by a field goal. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Six yards that time on the pass play. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. They're about four yards away here on second down. Stays inbounds to make a nice catch. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's tackled at about the 49. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. And they make the stop at the 50-yard line. Nice play across the middle. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. Man's performance today... Right now, Kirk, the nation is watching, and uh, they're pretty impressed with what they saw. Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of people are going to see the kind of numbers that he put up today. And more importantly, I think his team's going to be able to continue to build their offense around him and his attributes of what he brings to this offense. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.